picked Anthony up from work. We thought we'd call the chippy because it's quicker. Dexter's quite excited because we always get him a sausage from the chippy. Andy knows. I'm quite excited. <laughs> I like it here in Marston. Not really yeah. used any of the shops or anything, have we? Just a chippy and the post office. And the co op. Oh, and the co op. Look at Anthony's bag from Heidi's boat. Was it from Heidi's? Was it not? No. Oh, no, it was, was it from the hippie boat? Oh, yeah, sorry. From the hippie boat. <laughs> uh, it's very English tradition, isn't it? Fish and chips. It is. And we've been to the chip in Marsden, and all I can say is, mmm, amazing chips. Delicious. Well, this morning at Sowerby Bridge, I left our boat in Anthony's car to pick up our friends Martin and Mandela, who are fellow Bickerstaff boat owners. Uh, they very generously offered to help us through the 21 locks from Marsden all the way up to, let me get this right, Slawit. Slough it looks really nice. I wish we'd just gone through the tunnel last week and carried on through the 21 locks, uh, but we were a bit exhausted. We should have just done it because we're now behind schedule and we've had to postpone our um, lock one at Huddersfield. Morning. Finally set off, we've got help from Martin. Mandela's gone ahead to do the next lock. I'm doing a bit of filming. I feel bad because they're doing all the locks. We're on lock 41, it's the second lock. So much easier when you've got help. Still love these views behind us. This pound, the level dropped so quickly, we checked it about 20 minutes ago and it was full. And now it looks half empty again. But we are letting some water in from this current lock. Hello! <laughs> you could delete that. <laughs> 
I'm putting it on repeat, Martin. Oh, God. This is very narrow, aren't it? Yeah, there you are. If you've been uh, stunned tonight, you're Come on, lads. Where's Ringless? Come on, That's a tough one, isn't it? Can I just point out at this point, Mandela's just off camera waving at Anthony to get the go-ahead to open the paddles. <laughs> He's just waving back. He's not having... <laughs> <laughs> I could have filled you dog. What's a day? Sky. Sky. This is Sky. 18 weeks old. No, for, no 14. Four, 14 weeks old. Cross between a Jack Russell, beagle. a Beetle, and a Pug. <laughs> So for our viewers abroad, this lot was restored by Blue Peter, which is a children's BBC TV programme. I grew up on that programme, loved it. Look at the Blue Peter badge.
Now, we love these houses, but we've just been saying, it's very steep, it doesn't look it on camera, it's about 40 degrees. Imagine mowing the lawn. I'd step back and be in the canal every time. Anthony's just rescued a frog out of the lock. He didn't want it drowning, panicking. Bless it. Quite a big frog, isn't it? This is Andrew on the left. Yeah, slow, slow it. it today. And, and, but, but, uh, I mean, yeah, you stop yeah. to go to Crick. Are you going to pause for oh, a few days? Yeah, we may stay slow it, or we may go through towards Lock Twenty. Well, this is the most activity we've seen on the canal for about a week. It's great. It was just after this spot that we decided to moor up and have some lunch.
Well, that was a bit scary because the boat was really listing to port side. Um, the canal ahead didn't even look shallow, but obviously is. So we just let some water through the locks behind. Luckily, the pound behind us is really overflowing onto the towpath, so I don't think it would matter that we'd let a little bit of water in. Here comes the comedian. That's what he tells me anyway. I've just been showing Mandela my white legs and Anthony said that reminds me we need some milk. That's my line he's pinched. I don't know how I pinched it off. Our first guillotine lock, and I'm so glad that Martin and Mandela are here to help. This one's going to come up first, yeah, to empty it, yeah, and then we can lift the gate on this one, okay. Last guillotine lock I came across as automatic, all right. prayer for. <laughs> I've been to church this morning. <laughs> Just ahead you could see Slough it and it was such a relief to be near our final destination.
just to my right here are the Canal and River Trust services with toilets, showers and an L sand point and it was all very clean too. We moored up here at the water point but it was the wrong connector for our holes even though we had an extra one or two connectors we didn't have the one for this one so we decided to move on from this point. So I think it's the water point. Yeah. So Mandela, can I ask you? Yeah. What do you love best about bubble team? Freedom. Is it better than you expected? It's different. It's different. It's more chilled out than I expected, but it's hard work. What's been your highlight? The Anderson boat lift. Oh wow. And the River Weaver. I believe the River Weaver's nice. The River Weaver's nice. For repairs? Uh, I think they are just for repairs, but the, the River Weaver is unexpectedly beautiful and it really is and it's big and it's wide and you can just enjoy it what are you looking forward to doing next the stand edge tunnel going back to i'm the trying marina. not to say the stand edge tunnel what i'm looking forward to is a fun winter in the marina yeah. <laughs> yeah. i am actually how long have you lived on your boat just over a year now do you wish you'd done it years ago yes oh gosh yes I think if we'd done it years ago, I think things would have been a bit quieter. Everything's mm. a bit busy now, Lots. and we'd all, and we'd be five years younger. Yeah, and fitter. And fitter. <laughs> we'd have had five years putting on weight. Yeah, though, we? <laughs> <laughs> the voucher mouth. This is the good thing about the canal system. Complete strangers coming out to help you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your help today, Martin. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for your help today, Mandela. You're welcome. <laughs> Anytime. I was Captain Anthony. Sorry? The he, bees knees. He didn't do a lot. No. <laughs> He's got the easy job, hasn't he? Keep telling him that. Where are we, Anthony? We're on our way to Crick. I asked that like I don't know where we are. <laughs> We're on our way to Crick in our friend Fiona, friends Fiona and Jude's camper van. Dexter's with us as well. Very excited, aren't we? We are. Dexter's come to help you. I need help, don't I, Dexter? Yeah. I'll say. Well, it's Saturday morning. We're at the Crick Boat Show. Last night we went for a couple of drinks and met a couple of viewers, a few viewers, which was nice. Uh, a lovely couple, Dave and Anna Marie from Saudi Arabia, which was amazing. And it was nice that they recognised Dexter as well. Uh, we've been camping, as you probably know. <laughs> <laughs> Not for a long time. Uh, yeah, we're just camping for the one night and we just plan to stay for Saturday. I'd like to stay for Sunday as well, if possible. It's forecast heavy rain today. I think we've had about four hours sleep. Dogs barking, doors slamming. You wouldn't think so on a campsite, would you? Uh, yeah, but we're really looking forward to it. Dex is happy to be out. It's quarter to eight in the morning. I'll see you soon just to the left of that orange tent is our friend's camper van and our tent
it's amazing looking around at all the different camper vans and tents, caravans. It's very quiet when we arrived. And pretty quiet last night. You couldn't hear the entertainment from over in the marquee. If I pan back, that's the showground in the distance. Ignore my legs, but someone's keen to come in the tent. Right. Oh, you did sleep in the tent all night, didn't you, lad? I thought you'd be keen to be out. Oh. <laughs> With the microphone on, let us Here we are in our camper van. Well, it's not our camper van. It's the owner and Jude's camper van. <laughs> We're hoping to sell it to us for 50p and some magic beans. <laughs> we never thought it were a Trump until you said. <laughs> Hi, Dexter. Daddy. Hello. Do you? Are you live? No, you did the live with Lisa. Yeah, oh, so many, and the room. So many walks so like, yeah, that's it. Dexter, what can you smell? Is it cheese? Four cheeses, two cheeses. <laughs> we didn't think to take pictures with everybody that came to see us, but it was so nice to see these viewers. We only had the time to look around one boat, but this was Oakham's narrow boat, and it won best boat in show. So can you tell us about this boat then, Liam? Oh, you're not on camera, am I? <laughs> yeah. uh, this is Oakham's narrow boat. It's a 60-foot coal craft, a Beta 43 engine. Uh, it's one of our stock boats, so it's a conventional layout. We start with a mud room, going through into the kitchen, diner, living room, bathroom, and bedroom. And, and here's a mud room. So we coil heating pipes oh, behind, so that then obviously it warms your shoes, also warms the seat. Wow. Brilliant. Then I'm very impressed. The washing machine, so you get a full size washer. Yeah. I put the inverter in here so that you, when you yeah. put your linen in, it, yeah. it warms your towels, so that you always have nice warm towels when you come to. Ah, for filming, but I know it's there, don't I? <laughs> Brilliant. I like the colours as well. Really nice galley, full size oven. My wife did a beautiful bouquet of flowers from yep. our garden. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Yeah. I like this style of radiators. I do. Skylight. Yeah. Brilliant. We can have the skylights also in the kitchen and the bedroom. Yeah. On ours, we had it in the bedroom and the kitchen. It made a fantastic difference. Yeah. It was really nice. Yeah. Very nice. We love the skylight. We also do the option of a bath or a shower. So that you one. can decide which one you want. All of them come with rain heads. Yeah. And then if you would like to add jets in the bath or to make it whirlpool then we can also add those in as well. Yeah. And then the bed is a pull out to make it king size. And as it's been a liverboard, the most crucial bit is storage. So you've got four drawers underneath your bed. You get an extra two here, an extra two here, and then we get five wardrobes in total. You also, because we're a brum base, you get storage throughout all the sides, which is all on doors. Great, we're well, liking the extra storage, especially in the bedroom. You yeah. get plenty of room at the end of the bed. Yeah. So all them shoes you can stick in there. Well, what did we think of Crick? We really loved it. It's the first time we've been to the show, but we were so impressed with the staff, how friendly they were, the people who'd organised it, the people on the gate, security, and even the people that shown us to our pitch on the campsite. It was such a good atmosphere. Even the rain didn't dampen our spirits. There were more boats than we thought. And we know that some people did complain that the show wasn't as big as usual, which is probably understandable, but we thought it was fantastic and we can't wait to go back next year, hopefully for the whole weekend. And we do believe that it's penciled in for May next year, which is the time of year it's normally held. 
Well, thanks a lot for watching our vlog. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed the little bonus at the end of Crick Boat Show. Don't forget to keep your comments coming and please subscribe. It really does help our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice week.